Let me tell you a story about a client who lost 60 pounds with me. This client gained 60 pounds due to eating from boredom and more of it at nighttime after dinner. So that was the biggest barrier for him. And working together, we figured out how to avoid eating from boredom. And this is why today I am going to give you five solutions on what to do to avoid eating from boredom. Solution number one, first and foremost, know that we do have different types of hunger. One is physiological hunger. That's your body's asking you to eat. Two is emotional hunger, which can be boredom. Today, we are going to be focusing on eating from boredom. But before we go into that, let me tell you that it could be that you are actually hungry and no bore. And this is why my solution number one is to make sure you eat all your meals throughout the day. Your three main meals that need to be balanced with protein, a healthy carbohydrate and fats. And of course, if necessary, your snacks. Eat every three to four hours. That's the rate that I recommend my clients to eat. And so far, I have excellent results with my clients. If you have followed that and nighttime comes and you are eating, maybe it's from boredom. So question that. So what to do if you're eating from boredom? And I'm gonna give you several examples on what you can do instead if you feel like you're bored. You can pick up a book. You can go and maybe organize your playlist of music. Put some music and start dancing. I do that a lot. Maybe you wanna start a new hobby or maybe you have a hobby that you wanted to start. Maybe start painting, playing guitar. I don't know. You know yourself. You know what you want. Maybe start doing that or maybe call a friend that you haven't talked in a while. I do that a lot. I don't text, I call them. I surprise them. What a nice reward. Reward yourself with a nice, maybe taking a bath, buy yourself flowers, do something else that will avoid you from being bored. Do something else, chew gum. I always recommend my clients to brush their teeth right after they eat because that helps. Because once you brush your teeth, hey, we'll stop eating. Maybe during this time you wanna do a little exercise. You don't have to go to the gym. Solution number two, do not depend on your willpower. Your willpower is like an elastic band. You can only pull this so far and eventually will give out, just like that. So that means your willpower went out. And what are you gonna do when your willpower is out? If you have trigger foods, stop bringing them home. Don't fool yourself. Willpower doesn't work. Most likely you're gonna end up eating the bag of chips and that create a cascade of problems. Now you're gonna feel guilty, ashamed. What do I do that? And what will that create? This is where now comes my solution number three. Your home, your kitchen is your temple. If you're trying to lose weight, make your environment friendly that can help you make you lose weight. Avoid to bring home all trigger foods. Now, I don't like to tell you to stop eating things. That's not how I work. I like you to have a better relationship with food. But if you know something is triggering, don't bring it home. I have my trigger foods, trust me. I also don't have willpower. If I know I have ice cream, dulce de leche, forget it. That thing is gone in a second. And if, I've had it, if I have it at home, I eat it every day. So what I do now is I don't bring it home. If I want dulce de leche ice cream, I go to the ice cream shop on the weekend. I serve myself a nice two cups of dulce de leche and I sit down and I enjoy every single freaking bite, Lee. And then I get over it and move on. I did not stop eating the ice cream. I just plan my ice cream. Solution number four, practice mindful eating. Identify if it's true hunger or if it is boredom. Now, this is not easy to do, by the way. It's very confusing. Appetite, by the way, is just a symptom. Appetite 
is a symptom of hunger that can be physiological, created by your body and hormones, hunger hormones. Or appetite can be also sparked up by stress and boredom. This is why it's difficult to distinguish the two. But here's what I can, what I can recommend you. If you eat all your meals and you have eaten every three to four hours, like I said before, know to identify if it's physiological or just plain boredom. And number five is have a system, have a plan. No one is perfect. Most likely you are gonna eat again from boredom, like I do all the time. Time to time I do. But have a plan. We already talked about removing the trigger foods, number one. And what to do if you eat from boredom. Don't punish yourself by going to the gym the next day and spending three hours in the elliptical. That's not gonna work, that's punishment. So I hope these five solutions have helped you on starting to stop eating from boredom. Remember, now I see clients one-on-one -on -one virtually. If you need help, you need a coach to help you lose weight, you can find me online, Manuel, and schedule a 20-minute free consultation. I call it a discovery call where I can talk to you and then decide if we're a fit and sign up and work with me and I can help you figure out all of this out with a customized meal plan. Thank you for watching and until next time.